Okay, so how long would it take you if you had a PCB footprint spacing issue to update this PCB footprint across your entire team if you're in some organization? It might take a while, but actually with one trick, one feature in Altium, you only need to make the change once and it will update it across your entire team. If you want to see the step-by-step -step details of how I do that, watch to the end of this video, okay? And if you're not using Altium Designer, then you need to download it. Getting a new product to market goes way beyond just the schematic and PCB design. Design collaboration between industrial, mechanical and electronics domains and with your customers and the ability to securely share key design elements with key stakeholders, no matter where they are, makes development, design review and release to manufacturing as smooth as silk. Anywhere the right design information is under the right fingertips you get success. Connect with anyone and work from anywhere with Altium Designer and Altium 365. Click on the link in the description below. It's a special link. You get a certain discount, I'll say that, and you can get a free trial if you're not using Altium already. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, change this. This PCB footprint has a problem. If I hover over it, it says the spacing between the pad and the top on the top layer and the polygon region and the keyboard layer is it's too close. It's two mils instead of 10 mils. So how do we fix this? The PCB footprint in itself has the problem. So some might be tempted to go to the design rules and then see what clearance things you can play with. You might try to do the ignore pad to pad clearance thing. Um, by the way, there's a link that shows how to uh, automatically get rid of those dots if you if there are spacing issues for your pad to pad spacing so you can check out the video but in this one in this case the pcb footprint in itself needs to get updated i want to update this across my entire organization though not just my local machine luckily i have put I've pulled this in from uh, Altium 365, so that's the secret. You would use Altium 365 to update this. So what you can do is click on the PCB footprint, you right click on this, and then for your component actions, you can show this component. Now, what's great about the 365 cloud is that since it's in the cloud, anyone who's using this will get the update immediately. We're gonna right click and edit this device, this component. But what this lets me do is pull up my you know, if I bring this to the right here, it pulls up my PCB footprint. I can zoom out and then look at what's causing the issue, the violation, delete that. It looks like whenever somebody made the PCB footprint, it spanned across all, it just spanned across the entire thing. And that's the keep out area. This keep out is on the same mechanical layer, however, as mechanical 15, not good. So I might want to, you know, they say this is a keep out area because the, the manufacturer does not want us to route through this, this uh, component. So what I might want to do is place a rectangle, right? Tab on my keyboard, For this property, which properties I want it to be on my keep out layer. See that? And then I would click plus sign and then see, I can give it, I can place it there, right click, and then that ends that operation. Now this is a proper keep out layer done on the correct layer, right? And now that it's changed, I can right click, close, save this to the server and validation detected a failure. So these would be important to change or take a look at. I'm going to push this through to the release. Created, you know, you could say keep out, had a problem overlapping, you know, Mac layer 15 added proper keep out, something like that, right? And then you click OK. So then the keep out, I'll need to update this footprint. So what you do is right click on it. Go to your component options and then choose to update the component. I'm going to update the selected components from my PCB libraries. Okay, I can validate change, execute the change. This is for C5. And now the error is gone. So the thing I like about this is when you're working on teams like uh, the team I used to work on at Intel, um, and you're able to use, and your software is able to update like your design and everyone gets the update immediately because you're pulling from dynamic databases, dynamic PCB footprints, schematic, anything used for design reuse, then it makes everything so much easier. You don't have to do all that manual syncing. That's the benefit of using Altium 365. If you're not using Altium, you're still skeptical on it, then click on the link in the description below and download the free trial. It's a easy way
way to start testing out Altium. You can follow me in the series and even sign up for a course I'm making where I show you how to design this from start to finish, including the signal integrity, high speed digital design and all that. All right. This would be operating at US uh, at 10 gigabits per second for USB 3.2. So you don't have to play this game, the local file game where you, you know, things are out of sync and you don't know what's going on and this and that. You haven't worked on a design maybe for a month. You come back to it. You're not sure if you're working with the latest files. You can skip all that. All right. Check out Altium Designer, Altium 365. I'll see you in the next one. Keep designing.